Good afternoon, cadets. Starfleet has been getting increased reports of Venturi raids in the Mukuru sector. You are to patrol the five-star systems that make up this sector. The Nazambi, Megewo, Anansi, Eshu, and Ruhanga systems, and if possible, determine the pirate's base of operation to disable it. Starfleet recommends that you first contact Starbase 1317 in the Nagewa system so that they can give more details on the situation and define a patrol route for you. Good luck. Captain's Log, Stardate 4000.4. We've been ordered to do a patrol of the Nzambi, Nageo, Anansi, Ishu, and Rohunga systems. Once again, we're to look for any pirate activity and try to find the reason behind the strange attacks in that sector. Course laid in, Captain. Captain, we're being hailed by Starbase 1317. Captain Forrester, pleasure to have you here. I assume Starfleet told you about our problem? You mean the pirates? We would have handled it, but we're mostly a science station. There's an archaeological dig in one of the systems and... Well, I'm sure you didn't come here to hear me ramble. Actually, I was wondering if you can tell me anything about the pirates. Go right ahead. When we first came across this sector, we discovered that there had been a war here between two races who used planets as weapons. Those races are extinct now. But we've had several visits from races who believe they might have descended from colonies of these civilizations. Uh, that's very interesting. What do the pirates have to do with this? What races have visited here? Most of the visits are from non-corporal life forms. The Thazans have visited, as well as a few Medusans. And then there was the Tholian. Actually, I was wondering if you can tell me anything. Uh, that's very interesting. What do the pirates have to do with this? We believe the pirates have a staging area, either in the Anansi or the Ishu system, that would give them access to our systems and plenty of places to hide in. We'll take care of it. Thank you. I've also asked a friend. Captain Alistair of the USS Apollo, to visit us. I figured we could keep her in reserve from when the pirates are found. Course laid in, Captain. They're not answering our hails, Captain. Ishu Collective is hailing us. This is Mark Greer, System Coordinator of the Ishu Collective. We've uncovered the remains of a convoy in our system. Do you have any idea who was on the shuttle or who was responsible? I don't know yet. We don't have enough information from that site. Most routes for these kind of convoys are highly confidential. Who has access to that kind of information? Do you, uh, you think someone's been selling that information? Do you? I haven't given it much thought, but uh, it seems logical. So who has access to that information? Uh, I don't have enough data yet, but uh, I'll compile a list. Allison, what do you plan to do next? We'll wait until we receive some word from you. Well, you'll get what I know as soon as it comes in. Course laid in, Captain. the third planet, we have the colony online. This is First Advisor Telek Pilar of the Vulcan Colony Sirek. 
What is your purpose in this system? We're patrolling the system. That is acceptable. The piracy situation in this sector has recently become extreme and more calculated than a normal threat would warrant. Your response to this threat should have occurred more expediently so as to preempt this type of crisis. However, your current presence will suffice as an apology. Is there any particular incidents you'd like to address? There is one situation. A diplomatic envoy left this system for the issue collective and has not returned. Nor has it arrived where it was supposed to. This causes a modicum of discomfort on my part, as its safety was ensured by the system. Much explanations will have to be preferred on my part in order to expedite this matter with the Medusans. So the diplomat was a Medusan? Yes. A fascinating race they are, though dangerous as a species. You will search for them? I'm sure some sort of equitable arrangement can be made if recompense is desired. That's not necessary. Ah, then if my problems and Starfleet's orders are not in conflict, we are in agreement on the situation, and I will waste no more of your time. Telek out. Course laid in, Captain. Now entering the Rohanga system. We're being hailed by Rohanga 5. Open a hailing frequency, Magia. This is Director Amrith of Rohanga 5. We are under attack and requesting immediate assistance. We're on our way. Message received, Director. Tempest out. They're not answering our hails, Captain. Life support has been hit! Port side shields have been hit! Port side shields repaired. Upper shields repaired. Port side shields have been hit! Port that shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Port shields have been hit! Lower shields have been hit! being hailed by Director Amrath. Put him through, Magia. I demand you finish off these pirates. They're bleeding us dry. We're doing the best we can. It's gone beyond this system now. My contacts say a diplomatic convoy is missing in the Nazombi system. This is spreading. Captain, I've traced back the most probable course for the Venturi Raiders. Their last port of call would have been the Anansi system. Then we've got our work cut out for us, don't we? Thank you for your concern, Director. We'll take care of the situation. Tempest out. Port side shields repaired. Curious. There is only minimal evidence of any weapons being used on the ships. Most of the damage seems to be internal. Internal? How? There is evidence that certain systems have been tampered with or destroyed. Life support systems are non-functional. 
Are you saying the crew destroyed their own ships? Given the extent and type of the damage involved, that is a possible hypothesis. That's crazy! Nonetheless, it is possible. Captain, I am detecting the remains of a freighter in this system. Captain, I am detecting the remains of a freighter in this system. Captain, the sensors are picking up a ship entering the system. Its configuration matches the Venturi Raiders from the Rahanga system. They're not answering our hails, Captain. This is Krull Sirik of the Venturi. Your bravery is to be commended. As such, your death will be swift and just. For ours is the holy way. And homeworld will be spared the wrath uh, of our son. Frequency open. Everything is going fine. Forrester out. Side shields have been hit. Upper shields have been hit. Starboard shields have been hit. Upper shields repaired. Starboard shields repaired. Port side shields repaired. Port side shields have been hit. Forward shields repaired. Port side shields repaired. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields repaired. Captain, we are within weapons range of a Venturi base. Starboard shields have been hit. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields. Re Phasers have been hit. 
Life support has been hit! Life support at 50%! Port side shields repaired. Upper shields have been hit! Upper shields have been hit! Forward shield life support is critical! Forward shields repaired. Phases are online again, ready to fire on your orders. Starboard shields repaired. Aft shields repaired. Upper shields repaired. They're not answering our hails, Captain. Side shields have been hit. Upper shields down to 50%. Starboard shields have been hit. Port side shields repaired. Upper shields are at critical, sir. Port side shields have been hit. Starboard shields repaired. Port side shields repaired. Shields repaired. is hailing us. Repeating, this is 2nd Lieutenant Jessica Owens. We need help. We are under attack. Repeat, we are under attack. This is the USS Tempest. Who is attacking you? Communications have been cut off. Set course for the Nagewo system. Course laid in. This is Lieutenant Jessica Owens. Repeating, this is Lieutenant Jessica Owens. Is anybody out there? This is the USS Tempest. What's your situation? I think Commander Royce is dead. Most of the command staff are down as well. We're barely holding this place together. You keep doing that. We'll see what we can do out here. We're being hailed, Captain. On screen. This is First Officer Davies of the USS Apollo. You are in violation of the Federation Romulan Treaty. Cease your attack on this Federation vessel and return to Romulan space. 
This is David Forrester of the USS Tempest. You are firing on a Federation starbase. Break away and power down your weapons. We're not stupid, Praetor. You're modulating your cloak to give us the illusion of a Federation starship. He's not listening to you, Captain. Then die, Romulan. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm trying to stave off a total system failure. So if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work before the life support goes out again. They're not answering our hails, Captain. Sir? Starboard shields online. Forward shields online. Port side shields online. Shields repaired. Forward shields repaired. of a freighter at the edge of the system. 
It appears to have been destroyed by Federation fire. The freighter bears more than normal armament. Analysis of the bodies indicates seven Venturi and one Medusan. Then it's a Venturi pirate ship. The data is incomplete, but that is a logical conclusion. Why would a Medusan be working with Venturi pirates? Medusans are considered to be one of the most peaceful races in the galaxy. There is no logical reason to believe the Medusan is working with the Venturi. However, it is logical to assume that the Medusan was the cause of the Apollo's insanity. Why? Because if you see a Medusan, it can drive you mad. Scientists hypothesize that it is a form of protection against the predators on their home planet. But regardless of its origins, the effect is completely unintentional. The Medusans possess one of the most elegant and benign minds in the Federation. But then the question still is, what the hell was one of them doing aboard that ship? We know there are Medusans that come to this system. Most likely, it was aboard the diplomatic convoy that was raided by the Venturi pirates. Then they're using it. But as what? Some sort of living bomb? That would be logical. Reprehensible, but logical. Starbase 1317 is hailing us. They give their thanks for rescuing them and hope we have a safe journey home. Well, I guess there's nothing more for us to do here. Let's head back. Course laid in, Captain. Sorry for the inconvenience, but I'm trying to stave off a total system failure. So if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work before the life support goes out again. The warp drives are fit as a fiddle now, Captain. Hailing frequency open. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. Excellent, Cadet. Your score and performance on this scenario were well above average.